Okay, let's look at the arteries that are superior to the heart. Um, so the aortic arch right above the heart right here branches right away into the brachiocephalic artery. Brachio meaning arm, cephalic meaning head. If I move this vein out of the way, you can see that the brachiocephalic artery branches three times. This rightmost branch is the right subclavian artery. If you follow it into the arm, that is the right brachial artery. Okay, the other two branches take it up parallel to each other, up on either side of the neck, and we call those the carotid arteries. All right, this is the left subclavian artery, and if you follow it into the arm, this is, turns into the left brachial artery. So again, left subclavian artery into the left brachial artery. And now we're gonna look at the arteries inferior to the heart. So this is the aorta. You can see it branches off many times into the intercostal arteries. You can follow the aorta all the way down. As the aorta is right here in the thoracic area, it is known as the thoracic artery. So right above the diaphragm, it is known as the thoracic artery. And then below the diaphragm, it is known as the abdominal artery. So they're both parts of the aorta, it's just about regions. Um, right here, you can notice that the abdominal artery branches a couple of times. It takes blood uh, to the various organs of the body. This area is known as the celiac trunk. Okay, that celiac trunk, you don't need to know these individual arteries that come off, just that this area right here where you see the branches to the organs is known as the celiac trunk. If you follow the aorta down even further, you can see a branch goes off into the kidney. This is known as the renal artery. And then it goes further down where it's going to branch again into the legs. Okay, now the arteries in the, um, going into the legs, again, we follow the descending aorta here. The descending aorta branches into the common iliac arteries. And then if we follow the common iliac arteries into the leg, this is known as the femoral artery. It branches a little bit deeper, but we're not gonna find those, so femoral artery.